Ancient Earth History, Part 1, by guest author October 24, 2021. Guest article by Robert Dawson. But dating back 389, 000 years ago, the real ancient aliens, the extraterrestrial long skulls, settled on Earth and left evidence of their influence in ancient Egypt and the Americas, contained within the hundreds of contact reports between Billy Meyer and the Playarans, is information about Earthman's true history on the planet and its extraterrestrial influences. This series of articles aims to show the abundance of archaeological evidence that has managed to survive, which substantiates and authenticates that information, which also fills in missing historical gaps and puzzling mysteries. Parts 1 and 2 will focus on a comparison of ancient America and ancient Egypt, who share huge cultural parallels in religion, astronomy, architecture, and the arts, and how that relates to the new historical information provided in the contact notes. From Contact Report 710 With this I can say that the Earth foreigners, who are generally simply called extraterrestrials or aliens by the Earthlings, have in fact been around for a long time. They stayed here and worked in many ways, as did their distant descendants, but they have also been active on Earth for centuries and millennia up to the present day, flying around and in and out of the Earth, and are observed again and again around the world by the Earthlings, whereby the American continent is of particular importance in this respect. Their early ancestors worked in many different ways on Earth, and also in various countries in Asia, North Africa, and partly in Europe, but mainly in the early days in the North African country which in later times was called Kemet, and then finally in later times Egypt, after which this name has been preserved until today. Your father, Sva'oth, taught me during a leap in time into the past to the land there, where the earth foreigners ruled at that time, whom he called Long Skulls, and whom I have seen myself, that they had been on earth for thousands of years. Because in contrast to the round skulls of the human beings of earth, they had skulls that were long and thickly protruding towards the back. They stood out unmistakably from the human beings of Earth, just as other Earth foreigners did around the world. Both Egyptians and ancient Americans have archaeological and cultural evidence of long skulls. Akhenaten with his wife, Nefertiti, and three of their daughters under the solar disk of Aten, New Kingdom, 18th Dynasty around 1345 B.C. Tri. And limestone, height 32. 5 cm, width 39 cm, Neues Museum Berlin, Egyptian Museum and Papyrus Collection, Altar Fragment. Ancient Mayan Nobleman Figurine Artifact. A bust of Egyptian princess from El Amarna, Egypt. Amarna period, 1365 to 1347 BC. A four examples of the elongated skulls found at the archaeological site in Paracas, Peru. The DNA fragments studied indicate that they are a different human-type creature, far removed from Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. The cranial volume is up to 25% larger and 60% heavier than conventional human skulls, and only one parietal plate instead of two, meaning the head could not have been intentionally deformed by flattening. Excerpt from Contact Report 721. And when the last Pleiarans immigration community came to Earth around 13, 500 years ago, it happened in a completely secret way, because since 389,000 years earlier, other extraterrestrials had come to Earth and had settled far and wide on all continents, above all, the long-skulled ones. In ancient Egypt in particular, they rose to positions of power, waged wars, and subjugated tribes of peoples. A young Egyptian prince riding a chariot is depicted in this tablet. Tomb 
two young Egyptian women. And this bust is depicting a daughter of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. The small figures in this scene with long skulls have been restored to the original positions they had been found in at La Venta, Tabasco. There is no definite answer for what this scene is enacting. Both Egyptians and ancient Americans built large pyramids. The Giza pyramids, Cairo, Egypt. And the pyramids of the city of Teotihuacan, located 30 miles, 50 kilometers, northeast of modern-day Mexico City. The both Egyptians and ancient Americans used precise engineering for site planning. A site plan of the Giza Plateau. The three pyramids are precisely aligned at the corners. The largest of the three pyramids, the Great Pyramid, is positioned in the middle. A site plan of the Teotihuacan, with the three main pyramids also aligned diagonally. The largest of the three pyramids, Pyramid of the Sun, is also positioned in the middle. And the deserted city of Teotihuacan was discovered by the Aztecs in the 14th century and named it Teotihuacan, meaning the place where the gods were created, when it had already been abandoned for centuries. Current belief is that Teotihuacan was a multi-ethnic site, being home to four distinct groups of people. One of the big mysteries about Teotihuacan is why nobody has ever discovered burial places for the leaders of these ancient peoples. Perhaps the obvious location for a tomb would be inside the pyramids as per the Egyptians, but the two major pyramids at Teotihuacan are sealed off with no entrances. Both Egyptians and ancient Americans used a 365-day calendar. The ancient Egyptian calendar was a solar calendar with a 365-day year. The year consisted of three seasons of 120 days. Each season was four months of 30 days. The ancient 365-day calendar of the Aztec was divided into 18 months of 20 days each, plus five nameless days at the end of the year. And both Egyptians and ancient Americans shared common artistic motifs. The goddess Isis, mural from the Room of Beauties, tomb of Seti Wuss. A then almost identical representation in art discovered as part of hundreds of fabulous archaeological pieces found in the Amazonian Ecuadorian region called Morona Santiago in Cueva de los Tayos. Dating back to an unknown time, many of them made of gold, often masterfully carved with archaic hieroglyphs that, to date, no one has been able to decipher. Both Egyptians and ancient Americans depicted animals with human heads, granite sphinx of Pharaoh Amenemhat III. Mexico's earliest civilization, the Olmecs, echo Egypt's finest sculptures with jaguar man, having the body of a jaguar and head of a human. Both Egyptians and ancient Americans worshipped feathered serpent deities and often depicted flying serpents with their gods. The Egyptian god Hapi is depicted in this stone-carved relief at the Philae Temple. Two hieroglyphic hymns used for the coronation of the pharaoh found within the pyramids mention a fiery flying serpent. He comes to thee, O red crown. He comes to thee, O fiery one, O magician, O fiery snake. And this stone carving is known as 
Laventa Staley 19. Laventa is an ancient archaeological site that belonged to the ancient Olmec civilization. The Olmecs were one of the first civilizations to develop in the Americas. The carving is the earliest known representation of Quetzalcoatl, or the Feathered Serpent, known across ancient cultures in Mexico as a god who arrived from the heavens and brought great knowledge to ancient cultures. In the contact notes of Billy Meyer with the Playarans, it is explained that Quetzalcoatl was actually an extraterrestrial. From Contact Report 055. A Quetzalcoatl had been, in Earth terms, a very high officer or a high supervisor of an extraterrestrial group, which was active in the region you today call Egypt. But he was very knowledgeable and wise, and thus was often assigned special missions, of which one brought him to South America, where he became venerated as a god by the Aztecs. Since he owned a small ship, this impression of the Aztec people was strengthened, but this was not his intention. And an Olmec deity is portrayed in this sculpture piece, Museo Nacional de Antropologia. The fiery flying serpent is a creature mentioned in the book of Isaiah in the Bible. The term translated as fiery serpent, seraph, appears elsewhere in the book of Isaiah to signify the seraphim, the singular form of which is also seraph. And the Lord sent fiery serpents, Hanachashim Hazaraphim, among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Olmec Relic Found in Veracruz The Maori god Porangawa flew from the legendary dwelling place of Hawaiki to New Zealand on a magic silver bird. Hawaiki is a compound word that comes from Old Indian and can be translated as from the Milky Way. A pre-Mayan artifact. Both Egyptians and ancient Americans had sophisticated underground hydraulic systems. The term hydraulic refers to piped or channeled water, and to many conveys an added flavor of engineering. Egyptian irrigation canals channeled water from the Nile River to agricultural farming areas. And in the Nazca region of Peru, carefully constructed, Spiraling holes forming lines across the landscape when viewed from high above are known as pukios, and their origin has long been a puzzle. The pukios were a sophisticated hydraulic system constructed to retrieve water from underground aquifers, says Rosa Lassaponara of the Institute of Methodologies for Environmental Analysis in Italy. Exploiting an inexhaustible water supply throughout the year, the pukio system contributed to an intensive agriculture of the valleys in one of the most arid places in the world. A series of canals brought the water trapped underground to the areas where it was needed. Anything left was stored in surface reservoirs. To help keep it moving, chimneys were excavated above the canals in the shape of corkscrewing funnels. These funnels let wind into the canals, which forced the water through the system. Not only did the builders of the Pukios need a deep understanding of the geology of the area and annual variations in water availability, but maintaining the canals was a technical challenge as they spread across tectonic faults. That meant a regular dependable water supply for centuries. The quality of construction was so good that some of the Pukios still function today. The origin of the Pukios has remained a mystery to researchers. Source, Ancient Nazca World, New Insights from Science and Archaeology, Lhasa Panara, 2017. On According to Contact Report 69, extraterrestrials had settled there and were most likely responsible for their construction. A similar events took place in the areas you call Pisco, Nazca, and Sacsayhuaman because the same giants had settled there.
Thus, many statues and other structures were created. Article by Robert Dawson.